Postgraduate training in surgery has been a point of great pride at Michigan for many years. Our residencies, which include general surgery, vascular surgery, thoracic surgery, and plastic surgery, attract talented people from across the United States and have produced some of the most important surgeons in this country. Clinical training is the bedrock of our residencies and will remain our number one priority. But many of our trainees are also attracted to the incredible research opportunities of the University of Michigan. And the fact is that waning federal support for resident research endangers this important opportunity. We're excited to initiate the Resident Research Endowment Fundraising Initiative. It's received incredible support. The Department of Surgery has contributed $6 million as seed funds for this effort. The faculty of the department, who know firsthand the importance of resident research, have pledged $300,000 a year for each of the next 10 years to this effort. The remaining funds to come from alumni, grateful patients, and community leaders. Ultimately, this is about our residents. This is about their futures. These are their stories. Thank you for listening. The subject of my academic development time was at the Center for Healthcare Outcomes and Policy, or CHOP, and my specific research was looking at surgical outcomes uh, in both general surgery and vascular surgery using quality uh, databases uh, such as the National Surgical Quality Improvement Program database, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield data, um, to answer questions about uh, health policy and surgical outcomes. I think the impact of my research specifically in looking at the Affordable Care Act and unintended consequences in terms of hospital readmission. So specifically, um, hospitals are penalized for increased uh, readmissions based on a variety of factors. And the formula that uh, does this uh, penalizing or rewarding is um, arrived at by Medicare. And so we've, uh, and the research that I did during those two years looked specifically at that formula and played it out in a surgical population, which as of now, as the time of this, is not being done yet, but it will be. I think here at the University of Michigan, the dedication of the faculty to us as residents to have that dedicated time is unparalleled to anything else that I saw as I was interviewing. It really gives you the isolated time and availability to be able to pursue whatever it is that you are interested in. American surgery is in need of leadership, and I think the advances in the medical field and the surgical field will be brought about by those people who are driving the field forward. Um, and it's um, one thing to be at the top of your clinical game, practicing um, cutting-edge medicine, cutting-edge surgery, that's one thing. Um, to be uh, someone who drives that field forward and makes a new cutting-edge or a new um, frontier, um, that's what we need.